Athletic Commission. The judges, Joe Eppy and Jack Gordon. The timekeeper, Fred Abitello. Counting for the knockdowns, referee Zach Clayton. Referee for the main event, Mark Kahn. Mark Kahn, perhaps the most veteran referee in point of service assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission. When I was eight years old, my dad would usually get home from the fights around midnight. I would usually be up in my bed trying to imagine what had taken place in the ring. Bonavita's in the center of that ring. He's cutting the ring on Ali. And oddly, I don't see Ali circling with the city. I would see imaginary fighters stalking each other, vying for their right to supremacy. All he can say, based upon the commissioner's ruling today, is you're in for a tough night. I'm gonna beat you up, guys. I'm gonna whoop you. I'm gonna cut you up. I knew my dad was the ringmaster, and I hungered to be part of it. I wanted to be in the jungle, in the hunt, in the fight for survival while the thousands of eyes were riveted on the white canvas. As soon as my dad went to bed, I would go to the bathroom, lock the door, and retrieve the passport to my dream, his bloody shirt from the hamper. I would fish it out and carefully put it on with all the sweat and blood glistening to my body. The scent of Madison Square Garden, the smell of the jungle. The smoke, the blood and sweat was an elixir that filled me to the bone. I could hear the roar of the crowd. Now I was truly there. Riding the spirit, feeling the magic. I'd reenact my own version of the fight in the mirror. I was the boy referee who controlled the violence and let it out slowly or ferociously as my heart desired. I'd step in on the clinches and I'd make decisions if I wanted another blow to be landed or if I wanted to watch these two titans beat their brains out. What power, what a thrill, what a rush. Referee Mark Kahn, six to four for Aphrasia. The third man in control, the master of destiny. I'd always conclude with a knockout because that's what they paid for. And because then I could display my dad's inimitable flair for the dramatic. He'd lead the standing boxer to the neutral corner, and then he'd pick up a very demonstrative count to 10. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. You're out. He'd throw his hands up high, crossing them in the process, as if God himself had declared the fight over. There I was, bloody shirt and all, on top of Mount Olympus, recording the triumph. I'd always freeze there for a while and let it wash over me. A signature expression sculpted by Michelangelo. There was nothing more I needed or wanted. I was transported, uplifted, exalted. It was perfect.